Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my favorites of 2017. I am so excited to show you these products. And you know, I've been thinking about this for several months and the products that I wanted to show you. And I even took a few out because I just want to show you the products that are my go-to products, the products that I love and use on a daily basis. Okay, let's get into this. The first is face primers, and I have gone through probably eight or nine or 10 face primers in the past year, and I've come around to this Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This is an absolutely fabulous primer. It is not as thick and as gel-like as like the Pore Professional Primer, which I was using earlier. It is just kind of a silicone feel, which is a wonderful thing. It smooths out your fine lines and wrinkles, and it really does make my pores look like they disappear. And the neat thing about this primer is I've used some other pore minimizing primers and they seem to work for a few hours in the morning, but by lunch I look in the mirror in the bathroom and I'm like, oh my God, I look like I've you know got little dots all over my face. But this primer really does not do that. It nulls out those pores and it just keeps them nulled out for pretty much the whole day. I love this Smashbox primer. Now, in terms of eyelids, I have been using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And this is a fabulous little primer for your eyes. Eyelids. That's how it looks. And the wonderful thing about this is it not only makes your eyeshadow adhere and stay adhered during the day, it also gives you a beautiful even canvas on your eyelids. And I feel like as we age, it's important to bring brightness to our eyes. And it's important to give ourselves a little bit more lightness on the lid because our lids do tend to become more hooded and they can kind of disappear a bit as we age. And so this primer gives you a little bit of lightness and evenness on your eyelids. And I really, really like it. Now, in terms of foundation, you all will not be surprised at this. This is my ultimate fave for the year in terms of a high-end foundation. It's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is a fabulous foundation. They call it a medium coverage, but I think it's very blendable. And I really like the medium coverage because it doesn't give you that old lady cakey look of some of the full coverage foundations. It goes on at first with a medium coverage, but just a little bit more in certain areas and you get a full coverage. It's matte, but it's not cakey. In fact, I have it on today, as you can guess. When I wear this foundation, it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles and it just gives me a beautiful, even canvas and it really lasts all day. I would say this is a 12 hour foundation and it is fabulous. Now, in terms of a drugstore favorite, I've been using this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in the color Nude. And as you can tell, I am pretty much out of the bottle there, getting very, very low. This is a really good one if you're on a budget. I would say it has a little bit heavier coverage than the Peach Perfect Foundation, but it just gives you that nice, even canvas. It doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It just gives you a beautiful, even skin tone. And it really does, as the name implies, just look like healthy skin. Now this one is no surprise at all. It's the Tarte Shape Tape and everyone on YouTube loves this. And I have to say, I have a drawer full of concealers and I keep trying other ones in order to find something to replace this and I never really do. This Tarte Shape Tape covers beautifully. It doesn't make your eyes look crepey or more wrinkled. It lasts for a long, long time and it blends in beautifully with my foundation. This is a fabulous full coverage concealer. It covers up the under eye circles. It covers up kind of any veins that you have and I've got some veins here. This is an absolutely wonderful concealer and I can't find anything to beat it. For those of you who like a little bit of a brighter look under your eyes, this is now called the Boeing Brightening Concealer, but I have it in its original name, which is the Erase Paste. And this is fabulous just to dab in under your eyes to give you a little bit of a brighter look. It's a concealer. I would say it's a full coverage concealer, maybe not quite so full coverage as the Shape Tape, but what it does, it just gives you a nice brighter look under your eyes. It brightens up those dark circles and it really makes your eyes look awake and wide open. Now in terms of setting powders, I have two that I use. I have more than that, but these are the two that I reach for the most often. The first is this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's absolutely wonderful. I found this towards the end of the year. It's just like almost like a mist of a powder and it, and it almost has a buttery feel to it. And I have really been enjoying this. It goes on just light as air, it blends out beautifully and it does not add any of that bad cakey feel that none of us want as we get more grown up. Now, if you're looking for a drugstore powder, I can't recommend this Cody Airspun highly enough. I think it's about $6 and I got this at Walmart and I have mine in the color Naturally Neutral, but it is a little beautiful little setting powder. It comes with an old fashioned little uh, puff here, which I really don't use the puff too much. 
This powder is wonderful because it just blurs out any imperfections that you have on your face. It kind of takes down that shine. If you're oily skinned like me, you need that. Also, it just gives you a wonderful final finish on your makeup, which I really appreciate. This mascara is probably my best product that I love out of all of these products, and it is phenomenal. I got this about three weeks ago. It was just before Christmas, and I was watching Jamie Page's channel, and I'll link this video below, but she did a video about products that her viewers recommended. One of them was a Stilla Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, and it has a really interesting wand, and I love this type of a wand. It just really gives you kind of a false eyelash look, or at least a lash extension look. When she put it on, I could not believe the difference to the point that I called my Sephora in town, had them save it for me, and I ran over and bought it. I applied it in the car, and I was blown away by this mascara. I have it on now, and I didn't really take a lot of time applying it because I was kind of in a hurry this morning, but it really just gives you fabulously long, defined, voluminous lashes. And to me, it really does look like you have lash extensions. I have been using this every day ever since I bought it. I keep it in my purse. This is a lovely, lovely mascara. Now, if you're in the market for a drugstore mascara, this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise is just incredible. It gives you the same sort of look as that Stilla mascara. Not quite as extreme, though, I would have to admit. But again, it has one of those really large, fluffy brushes, which I really, really love. This gives you almost a false eyelash look as well, and it goes on not clumpy. It adds volume and length. This is a fabulous drugstore mascara. In terms of eyeliner, I really don't have a high-end one that I can recommend right now. I use several, but lately I've been using this L'Oreal product almost exclusively, and it is a pencil liner. I went through a phase where I was doing a lot of liquid liners, but then I realized that I thought it maybe looked a little bit heavy, so I've been using a pencil liner in brown, and if you're a blonde and you're not using browns, I think I would try it out because it gives you a softer look than the harshness of the blacks in terms of an eyeliner. And this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in brown, and it's got a big tip here, but I really, really like this one. It goes on very smoothly and evenly. It doesn't drag on your eyes, and it just gives you a very natural, smoky look to your eyes, which I really like. Now for the waterline, I had been using this Anastasia Pro Pencil in Bare One, and it was doing a good job, but then I had a viewer ask me, hey, how long does that last? And I realized that it doesn't last that long. So I went back to the drawing board and I started using a product again that I used earlier in the year, which I really like. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter and it makes a great brow highlighter. You can just use it along your brow if you want to give yourself a little bit of a, little bit of an emphasis there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this when I already have makeup on. Wow, that is a highlight, whoa. Don't, don't try this at home. You can use it as a brow highlighter right under your brows, but the wonderful thing about this is it's great to use in the waterline, and you can see I have it on now. This Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter lasts in the waterline all day long. It's really an amazing product. Now it's time for blushes, and my favorite is something that I have in my purse and I use all the time on a daily basis. I try other blushes kind of continually, but if I really want something that I feel looks the best on me, this is the one I use. The lid fell off because I was carrying it in my makeup bag for so many months on end, and I was about to get a new one, and I thought that's crazy to buy a new one because even though it's drugstore, it's probably eight or nine dollars. So I thought, well, heck, I'll just tape the thing. So this is an absolutely wonderful blush. I have it on right now. It looks very natural, but yet it has that little extra pop of that fuchsia color that I think really wakes up our more grown-up faces because we can lose color as we get older. We can get kind of grayed out. I really think these pinky, rosy toned blushes wake up our face and make us look younger. Now, in terms of a high-end blush, I really like these Tarte blushes, and this is in the color Blushing Bride. Again, that's a more pinky, kind of a fuchsia tone, which I really enjoy. Now, these blushes are super highly pigmented, and they last all day. That is bad and good, because you need to be very careful in the application to make sure that it goes on smoothly and doesn't look chunky on you. Nobody wants to look like a clown. So when you're applying these Tarte blushes, just barely dip your brush in, tamp it off, and just barely pat it on to start with so you don't get too intense a color. Now to finish off the blush, I have really been using a very inexpensive product, and I've used this much of the year. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I absolutely love this, and it's less than $5. It's just a wonderful little highlighter. You can see it there. It's very, very natural, not a lot of shimmer there. But the neat thing about it, it just gives you a little bit of glow. You can use this with any blush. You can use this pretty much with any skin tone, and it looks wonderful. 
I'll go ahead and put a little on for you. This is a highlighter brush, but I usually just go in with the same blush brush that I've been using. See, it just gives you a wonderful little glow to your skin. I just think it's very pretty and natural and it certainly is inexpensive. Okay, let's get into brow products. And I did a video recently, which I'll link below on brows because I was losing the tail of my brows, which I didn't even know. And a wonderful viewer pointed that out to me. But now I have tails and actually I have tails because they're drawn on. And the product that I used in the video was this Anastasia Brow Definer, which is a wonderful little brow pencil. I use it in the color blonde and it has this wonderful little triangular shaped tip. So unlike the Brow Wiz product that they have, which defines the little hairs, just has a little fine tip, this one defines like big areas of your brow, like replacing your missing tail. I absolutely love this product, it's wonderful. Now amazingly enough, since I did that video, I found a drugstore version of a brow pencil, which I absolutely love. It's this e.l.f. brow pencil and it is only $2. This product is absolutely wonderful and I use it to color in the insides of my brows because Wayne Goss says that the more you bring this in, the more narrow your nose looks. I use it on that missing tail. To me, it works just as well as the Anastasia Brow Definer. And in fact, I've been using this even more often than I reach for that other product. It has the brow pencil on one side and it has a wonderful little spoolie on the other side to groom your brows after using the pencil. This is a fabulous product and I recommend you give it a try. What have you got to lose for $2? Now to hold brows in place, you can use hairspray, which I was doing for a while, but it was kind of a hassle because I'd have to get up from my makeup table and go in and get the hairspray. So since that time, I have discovered this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I absolutely love this. It's very inexpensive. It's just a little clear brow gel. After you've gotten your brow pencil on or your brow powders, you just kind of brush through your brows, brush them in place, and this keeps your brows set all day and keeps the color on. Wonderful little product and very inexpensive. Now let's get into lip products and I only have three that I'll be showing you right now. I have a full range of wonderful colors, but these are the three colors that I go to most often. The first is a Clinique lipstick and it's in the color Love Pop and it's the color that I have on right now. I absolutely love this color when you're in the mood for something bright and it's got just enough rose in it that it's not a harsh color. So it's a bright color that we grown up women can wear. And I really like it because unlike the mattes that I'm beginning to think make us look pasty and dry, I love this color. It's a wonderful rose bright that's wearable on pretty much all skin tones and it's also got just a little bit of a shine to it but sometimes on our more grown-up lips I think a little bit of shine a little bit of satin look really helps us because it makes our lips look shiny and dewy and moist like younger lips now the second lip color I really like it's one of my go-to's when I want more of a matte brown look is this bare minerals gin nude liquid lip color in the color boss and it is a wonderful darker nude color and I'll show you how that looks on my lips. Although it's a matte, it's a very comfortable formula. It is not too drying and it lasts a long time in your lips. This is a wonderful lip color. Now, if you like plumping lip glosses, which I really do, these buxom ones are fabulous. I have put these in my purse. I carry them around with me. These are my go-to plumping lip colors. And again, they have a little bit of a rosy look to them. I'll show you them on the lips. The first is this Buxom Lip Liner, and it is in the color Dolly Danger, whatever that means. And it has kind of a wider tip, which I really like. Love that lip liner. It's good on its own. And I also like to wear it with this Buxom Lip Cream in the color Rose Julep. And again, I think those slightly rosy tones really help lighten and brighten up our skin. I was really into a nude phase this year, worked hard to find nudes, but I think as we get older, sometimes the rosy tones are really good for us and brighten up our face. Now you may have noticed that I didn't get into any eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes, full face palettes, that kind of thing. That's because I have so many favorites and they are fabulous. And I'm going to be doing a separate video about that. So if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and click that little bell. That way you'll be notified of my palette video, which is one of my favorites, I have to admit. But the last category I'll be looking at here is setting sprays. And I have two that I just adore. The first is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This is a fabulous setting spray and it's really what got me into setting sprays in the first place. I never really liked the idea of a setting spray. I thought it seemed odd to put powder all over your face and then spray it down, kind of like using a fire hose on your face or something like that. But this e.l.f. setting spray really changed my mind. It absolutely goes on your skin and just gives you a fine, kind of a misty, dewy look. It removes that powdery, cakey look and just gives you wonderful, dewy skin in addition to setting your makeup. 
And I have to say that this one I don't use so much in terms of setting my makeup because I'm not sure how effective it is for that. But it is wonderful when you look just a little too matte, a little too powdery, just to give yourself a little bit of a youth spray. I feel like I look five to 10 years younger after I've sprayed the e.l.f. on my face. Now, this is an absolutely fabulous setting spray. It does the same thing the e.l.f. does. It gives you a nice dewy look. But more importantly, I really believe that it helps your makeup wear much longer than it would otherwise. And in fact, I'm going to be doing a video soon about my foundation application. I have two new ways I've been working with on applying foundation, and I'm excited to show you those in my video. But one of the ways is to use a little sponge, but instead of spraying it with water, I've been spraying it with this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and that's what I use to moisten my sponge. And it absolutely helps my makeup stay in place all day. It used to be that no matter what foundation I used and no matter what setting spray, I'd get to about one o'clock at work and I'd go in the bathroom and look in the mirror and it would look like my makeup was like dripping off my face. I would have big patches where I could see just bare skin and big pores and that kind of thing. But once I started using this from the very first day, I was amazed because when I'd go into the bathroom midday and look at myself in the mirror, my face would look pretty much the same as it did in the morning. And I wasn't having those problems with the patchiness and the large pores showing. Everything just stayed nice and matte the way it started out in the morning. This is a fabulous setting spray and I can't recommend it highly enough. Well, thanks for watching my 2017 faves. I'm going to be showing you a video on my palettes, my favorite palettes, as I mentioned before. And also I think I'll be doing one on my favorite tools. I got a little bit behind over this Christmas season because of the Mohs surgery that I went through. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go into this card deck, but it's the Life Loves You cards by Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and give them a good shuffle and see what we should be thinking about today. These cards just kind of help us continually focus on self-improvement and good attitude and that kind of thing. I live in an abundant universe. I live in an abundant universe. That's a good one. Notice how abundance flows into your life in delightful and surprising ways. That is absolutely a wonderful card, friends. And it just kind of reminds me of one of my resolutions for 2018, and that is to get rid of that old negative self-talk at least as much as possible, and to really concentrate on abundance and gratitude for what we have on a daily basis, in fact, on a minute by minute basis, sometimes we have to replace those negative thoughts with thoughts of abundance and gratitude for all the little details in our lives. Because no matter what circumstance we're in, it could always be a lot worse. So friends, just for today, let's really appreciate the abundance that is in our lives, the abundance that's all around us. Let's make this a wonderful day, a wonderful month, a wonderful 2018, and a fabulous second half. Take care, see you next time.